I bet you've heard about peptides and if you've clicked on this video, you've probably done a little research into BPC-157. You probably know a little bit, but you want to know more. It stands for Body Protection Compound and it's a 15 amino acid chain. So to fully understand this video, you are going to need to know what a peptide is. Basically, a peptide is a whole lot of amino acids that are bound together, but they are short chains of bound amino acids bound by a peptide bond. It's the way that they bond, and hence the name peptide. And then you get something called the polypeptide, which is a longer chain of joined amino acids. And then you get them where they are long and bound and whatever, wound, <laughs> and then they become a protein. I'm gonna stick a really cool infographic on the screen now. And you can see, you get the plain old amino acids, then you get them bonded. So a peptide is two to 50 amino acids bonded together. Polypeptide is longer, and then you get a whole bound, whatever woven thing, and it's a protein. So peptides are nothing to be afraid of in terms of what they are. They're just the building blocks of protein, but the different ways that they are bound, um, they can act in different ways in our body. And VPC-157, it's 15 amino acids bound together, pentadecapeptide, <laughs> it's a fancy word, and um, it has been claimed to have all these healing properties. That, let's not get too bogged down in the science of it, but there have been clinical uh, trials, mostly in rats. So the studies are done on rats. There's very little human evidence, and so it's not approved by the FDA. It's basically not, there's not enough evidence in humans to suggest, number one, that it works, and to suggest that it's even worth trying, and yet people are talking about it. If you look on YouTube alone, there are hundreds, if not thousands of videos all about the benefits and how healing um, BPC-157 is. And so after watching a video of one of the YouTubers that I follow where she claimed it really healed her knee pain, I decided I wanted to try it. So I went to a website that I'd ordered from before. I'd ordered Melanotan from peptides.co.za. Uh, the name of the company is called Research Peptides. They are supposed to sell them for research purposes only, except they're not doing any research on me. But anyway, <laughs> peptides apparently are legal in South Africa if you're prescribed them by a doctor, but you can just order them from peptides.co.za without a doctor's script. So I don't know. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine. However, their Melanotan when we ordered, what was it, three years ago, four years ago. I will link to that video that I made down below. The Melanotan worked. It worked like a bomb as supposed to. So I trusted at least that if I paid my money to these people, I would receive a product. And I was trusting that the product would work. But of course, you also get other online websites like peptidesclinics.co.za. I will link to all those in the description box below. The choice is yours. I mean, you've got Google at your fingertips. You just Google biopeptides South Africa and you, you're good to go. You can Google it for any country in the world that you're in. They do seem to be available fairly easily. I would just worry that they are a waste of money. That is my biggest concern, is that you don't know what you're getting. You don't know actually whether they do work. Are you throwing your money away? Uh, I don't know. It arrived today. I'm just doing a week's supply to see how it, how it goes. And here it comes. So let's see whether they include all that you need, the bacteriostatic water and all that. Let's see. I did ask for whether, uh, no, I didn't ask. I searched for tablets, but there were no tablets. You can get this in a nasal spray, but you've got to mix it up the same way. So I've ordered injectable, which is not nice. Okay, a whole lot of needles and one vial. Oh, and there, in the bacteriostatic water. So there we go. That's what you get. It's one week's worth. There's the BPC there. And on their website is instructions for how to mix it up. So I will do that. And there's needles that come with. Um, I don't know if these are insulin needles or not, but I'll have a look and see. So yeah. I don't know if it's the BPC-157, but I used it today for the first time, injected the dose in the morning. And I'm so tired. The whole day I've been so tired. I, I feel like I just cannot, I'm just not feeling awake. I've had a nap. I feel like sleeping again. I don't know if it's that, but it is one of the reported 
side effects. So it just shows you with all these peptides, the hype may be overhyped. So maybe they have negative side effects. Look, sleepiness I can handle. I think tomorrow I will inject it at night and not in the morning and see if that's any better. And if I'm still so tired, then obviously can it, which is why I only ordered a week, thank goodness. Just in case, you just don't have the side effects for you personally. And I was a bit mildly headachey early on. So possibly it's from that. Or, you know, you never know what things are from. But it would make sense seeing as today's the day I did inject. Good morning, YouTubers. And just to report, yesterday I did hectic leg day. I mean, I pushed myself pretty hard. Harder than I have been uh, for a long time. I was sweating. And yet today I've woken up and I'm hardly stiff and sore at all which lately i've been really battling with recovery i've been very stiff and sore it's day three of bpc could it be the bpc um i haven't had the fatigue or exhaustion like day one maybe it was unrelated i don't know maybe it's just the first time reaction i don't know but i will say since starting the bpc 157 i am not stiff and sore like i normally am so i don't know if it is that hard to be for sure but I will continue. So this concludes the journey with BPC 157. In the end I just gave up using this stuff here because it stung every time I injected it. Now I don't know why I did email them. This is the reply I got. I'm going to put it on the screen. Basically the guy is sort of saying that the stinging of the injection is kind of a normal reaction and whilst it could make sense and it's a possible explanation. Mentally, I just started to avoid injecting. So I injected, I think total I've used five, five times I've injected. I was going to then empty it into a spray bottle and spray it up my nose because that is an alternative delivery method of the BPC 157. You can order it with a spray bottle from this company. However, I'm also on a journey to use my nose for nasal breathing to stop myself from mouth breathing. And so I didn't want to start spraying stuff up my nose that could possibly congest it, clog it up. So I decided, you know what? There's no tablets available here in South Africa, but BPC 157 is one of the peptides that is available overseas as tablet form and apparently from the google research i have done the tablet form of bpc 157 is well um, absorbed and it does work the youtuber who inspired me to use bpc 157 she had used the tablets for i think it was a month and said she went from knee pain to skipping up the stairs so you know i decided until tablets become available here injecting the bpc 157 is just not for me I really don't want it to sting because it doesn't just, it's not the needle prick that stings. It's the actual liquid itself under the skin. So you inject it and it stings and then it burns for about a minute or two afterwards. That's all. It's a little red, it stings. And then, yes, that does go away. However, it's just not something I'm willing to put up with. It's just been putting me off. And so I am going to unfortunately not finish this little vial. And the other thing that's putting me off is that if you look at this, I mean, it really is just a plastic sticker that anyone could just stick. Now, I had mixed this, so it's not just water. I know what it is. There's a powder and a water. But again, it's not a regulated thing. I don't know what their methods of standards are, their, their control in the facility. How do I know this is not another peptide in here? How do I know it's not some other experimental thing? And ultimately, I didn't know whether it was working. And also, when I googled the half-life of BPC-157, I discovered that it's only got a 15-minute half-life. So it's in and out of the system very quickly. And then again, it gets me thinking, well, surely then I should be injecting it like every hour on the hour or twice a day, three times a day. I'm not willing to do that. So for me personally, BPC 157 is a fail. It's a no. I don't say it is a fail in that the peptide itself doesn't work. If you can get hold of a really good compounding pharmacy that you know and you trust and that's making the stuff and you know that it is what it is what it says it is i would say go for it first prize for me would be to get it in tablet form i just don't like injecting it if you get it maybe you're in australia maybe you're in japan asia i don't know wherever you are maybe you can get it and the injections don't sting then i would go for it 
If these hadn't stung and the injections were painless, I probably would have done another vial or two. Having said all of that, I'm really glad I only ordered the one just to see if I was going to carry on. So I'm not down a lot of money. Um, but I would have wasted a lot more had I ordered the one month supply. Yes, you can get them what's called the Wolverine stack where you combine BPC-157 with TB-500. I'm not willing to go down that road. For me and for my joint pain, my knee pain, my hip pain, I've just decided to rest. I've laid off running for a week and that is actually helping. Concurrently, I'm back on bioidentical estrogen replacement therapy. It's supposed to help with joint aches and pains and although I've only been on it for three going on four weeks now, maybe there is a slight improvement. Again, you never know what's actually doing the improving. Is it the rest <laughs> that's helping me heal? Is it the estrogen? Was it this? I cannot say for sure. However, for me it's a no. I hope that this video has helped you weigh up the pros and cons. I hope it helps you decide. As I say, you can Google where to find these things in your country, find the website and order it from them. However, it's not a controlled pharmaceutical product and therein for me is one of the worries and the other worry is that there are not enough human clinical trials. The dart is a bit iffy. Even though it's shown to work in animals, we are not. <laughs> rats or any other animal and I would like to know that it, it is a bit more regulated and controlled so I will wait until this becomes more regulated and more properly and widely available. So there you have it that's my take on BPC 157.